Just finishing up this build on this Keystone Fusion here. Take a look inside. Original battery location was on the passenger side of the rig here. You can see it was pretty small. It only held two 100 amp hour batteries. So they wanted to load a little more. They're doing full time living out of this unit. So they asked for the full works on this package. We relocated everything into the front compartment under here. Put bus bars up on the top there. You can see them here for all your positive and negative battery connections. Keeps the battery wiring nice and clean. Right here we got four of the 200 amp hour Diablo Power Group lithium batteries. Very nice units, Bluetooth, 200 amp BMS for heavy discharging. So you should have more than enough power for that. We did 2400 watts of solar on the roof coming down in two separate strings onto the 85 amp Victron solar controllers. And that's paired with the Victron Multi Plus 2 3000 watt inverter. And all of that runs in to the Serbo GX, which communicates to the Touch 50 panel inside the trailer to control everything and monitor everything from inside. Got a large cutoff up there for the inverter and all four aught battery cable. Make sure our temperatures and all the wiring stays nice and cool and your big 400 amp fuse to protect everything up there in the top left. So let's run up top, check out the solar install, see how that went. All right, we're up here on the roof. We got a original factory installed 200 watt panel that we weren't sure if we were gonna have enough room to be able to keep that or not but uh, that ended up being able to stay and that goes down to a little 15 amp Victron charge controller that's monitored by Bluetooth as well as everything else. So they got a little uh, added bonus there. So they get a little extra 200 watt there and then we have our 200 watt panels. So we got 12 of them, six on each string. These are wired in a series parallel configuration, three panels in series, three panels in series. And then those two di different banks are set up in parallel. So that's one string down to one controller. And then the other side is set up the exact same way. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's on one controller. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six for 1200 watts on each controller. Everything came out really clean up here. Very little wire showing. I think this spot here is the only one you got about a foot of wire that shows there and then just the interconnecting stuff over here outside of that everything came out super clean nice and straight everything hidden underneath the panels so you have no stray wiring being shown and the roof penetrations for where we went down to those are all covered as well so all in all pretty good build came out nice it's performing great we'll head inside and check out the uh, the touch 50 and see how everything's being monitored in there. All right, so we're coming into this Keystone Fusion here. It's a brand new trailer. It's not a model I've seen before. Pretty cool layout. You got the big slide right here with the big fridge on there. Propane and electric. Garage, toy hauler model. And then you got the main media area over here with your fireplace and your big screen TV. But it had a feature I didn't know it had until I started messing around looking for places to route wiring during this install. You can actually pull here, swivel this open, and you have a whole hidden pantry area back there for more storage. Thought that was pretty cool. All comes back in and latches with a big magnet. So that stays nice and secure during traveling. So we always try to do our installs as minimally invasive as possible. So we were able to fish through this wall here, make sure we hide all the wires for the Touch 50 Victron system. And that's what we got here, everything linked. So. Everything coming in, your energy usage, AC loads, solar, battery information, basically anything you could have on that system is all displayed here. And it's readily available and easy to adjust. Shows you what you're using. Right now we're towards the end of the day, so solar production is dying down as the sun gets lower. And uh, getting pretty close to full on battery. We like to do pretty heavy testing before the client picks up the rig just to make sure they're not going to have any issues down the road. And with these newer trailers, they're actually coming with the high efficiency air conditioners on the roof. They're still 120 volt air conditioners. They're not the 12 volt style that some are coming out with now. 
Uh, however, they ran really, really low on amperage, and we were actually able to start and run two air conditioners off of that Victron Multi Plus 3000. And we ran those for uh, a few hours just to fully test everything and the soft starts that we installed up on the units on the roof. So everything ran great. Everything's running cool, nice and uh, cool to the touch on the wiring. Everything else was good. So they're getting ready to head over and pick up the rig now that it's all done. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments.